Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to add grid lines to a curtain wall. First, we have a curtain wall that's blank. There are no grids or mullions on the curtain wall. This is one of the curtain walls uh, that's part of the defaults that Revit gives us. Just a regular standard curtain wall. We're going to go up to the architecture tab and we're going to go to curtain grid. And from there, we can snap a grid. When I hover along the horizontal edge of the glass, I can see a vertical grid line appear with a dimension. And I'm just going to go and click one on the left, one on the right, and then I'm going to bring one up from the top. I'm going to escape out. I'm going to click on my grid line. And here, if I don't like where it was, I can edit the dimension to place it in a different spot. I actually like this horizontal line at six foot eight, which is about the height of a door. I'm going to click on my vertical line here and change that to just one foot away from the edge. And same thing over on the other side, it's one foot away. So now looking at this glass, this is where I want my grids. I'm going to go and place a couple more grids, it's a curtain grid. I can either add one segment and that'll just fill in between the grid and the edge. Or I can do all except picked. And basically what that means is I'm going to click on that. I'm going to basically create my own grid line here. And then I'm going to click on the area I don't want it. And then I go to restart curtain grid. And then I'm back, um, back in the mode of adding or subtracting more grid lines. Once I'm happy with what I have, then all I have to do is go to architecture and we can start to add mullions on our curtain wall. We can add them to all grid lines or we can select individual grid line segments or lines themselves. So if I were to select a grid line, boom, it puts it across the entire thing. If I were to do just a segment, it's going to pick just that area that I click on if we do all grid lines and we click, then all of them are filled out. We escape out. We can see our actual curtain wall now with everything on it. If I go and click on the edge, I can go to the window. Then now we can go and we can actually edit out. Let's say I didn't want this one in or this one in. And then let's say I want to remove this segment and take this out. I can say delete, yeah, same thing. Let's say I want to take this one out, add remove, click on it. I can also hit the delete button and can click out. Don't forget to save and subscribe.